Hey guys, welcome back to Art of Boost. It's your boy Ash, and today we have the Basher. So, Basher is here. Thing is, um, the last time we had this out, we had it uh, brushless setup, which actually was the exact same setup that is. Show you. So, we had this setup in there. So, we had the 4000 KB Hobby Wing with the 120 amp. Um, brushless system so that's very powerful <laughs> and the stock internals for the scare box could not handle that so I ended up stripping everything out of here so that's exactly what we're gonna do today is rebuild this so let me show you guys what we got here got some goodies <clears throat> So we got the Metal Gear set for the rear end now, so we can continue running brushless. Boom, there you go. We got a new flywheel, just cause, and uh, one of these, what do you call it? Slipper assembly. So we're gonna put a new slipper assembly on this. But this is the main thing, cause inside here, where this sits is completely destroyed, I'm sure of it. So um, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and start stripping everything down, take everything out. I will show you guys all the stuff that's gotten, that got destroyed in here. And then we'll go ahead and swap these in there. See how it goes. Oh, I got all of these here from um, Chris House RC. Check them out. You get all the stuff you need. This is the um, ECX amp. MT, one tenth scale, rear wheel drive. So, all right, let's get into it. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> got it basically stripped down. As you see, there's no gearbox in here anymore. Um, so, cover here, three screws. That's how you get that off. This back piece here. So that's normally there. There's two screws that also go into the gearbox from underneath here. Four screws underneath to get the gearbox off entirely. And two from the top as well. To get to these two, you also have to take this off, which screws out from over on this side. Comes out. Screw those out. That comes out. And then you slide these out of here. Comes right out. Like so, I'll show you guys. There. So like it's like that and then it just slides up. And then in here you have 1.5 and then that slides in. Sorry, you gotta pull this pin out and then there's a pin there. And that basically goes like that. Slides up in there, basically. Uh, there we go so yeah like that so you gotta unscrew this then pull the pin all the way out and then it pops off and then you get your gear box in your hand so i'm gonna open this up and see what's going on and then i'll get back with you guys all right guys so got the gear box split open now so i found the issue it's right in here i'll show you guys in a moment You'll see it just there. There it is. So right there, we got a super flat spot. So yeah, this is all plastic internals. These are the stock internals. Um, you'll see um, when this is done, you're gonna see all of this is gonna be metal, metal, metal. Uh, down in here. Pop this up real quick. Boom. So all this is gonna be metal. Everything is gonna be good to go. So let's go ahead and just rebuild the whole gear box and then I'll show you guys the internals before I close it up. And this screw is longer than all the rest. That's why this one's in here. So I wanted to mark the spot where that goes. And yeah, that's that. So, all right. So actually to take this apart, this one, you just slide out. Very simple for that one there. This one, you push this through. You gotta take all of these off 
push it right through and then you push this down and then there's two there's a pin in here so when you push this down it'll just slide out and slide the new one on put it back in here this simple I, I basically just did it pop it out pop the new one in done so yep now I'll get back to you guys in a minute I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild it All right. All right, guys. So I have I'm stuck there. There you are. So getting the um, plastic one. Oh, actually, let me, let me go grab that so you guys can see. All right. So getting this one off was oh my god, a real pain. Cause like it, it just stripped and it 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 was horrible. It's supposed to be like some pinholes here, like how this one is. It's getting stuck in there. See there? That's how that's supposed to look. <laughs> so I had to hammer this off to get that off, and it was just a pain. But yeah, beware of that. This one's easy to swap out. You just pop it out, pop the bearings out, put them into the, the uh, metal one and you're good to go. Uh, let me see if I can find, is it on this one or, oh yeah, there it is. Complete flat spot, focus, there we go. So that's where it kept skipping, it wouldn't catch. Uh, other than that, this one doesn't see, well, I guess so. It has a little a little bit of damage here and there. Actually, no, I think that was from when I was holding it with the vice grip. Yeah, that's from when I was holding it with the vice grip, so never mind. This one got some damage regardless from me. <laughs> uh, this seems fine. Yeah, might keep it as a spare, whatever, why not? But these ones are done, garbage. But here we are. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease in here and then close it all up. Put everything back together. Slipper clutch. I have the new one. So basically, one metal plate on first. Sticky pads on each side, which is your your um, slipper, basically your clutch. That goes on after, and then you have one more. And that goes on top. You have the spring, a washer, and then the nut. Tighten everything down and then you set it to how you want it, basically. So, that's that. Um, basically, I'm gonna have all of that set up by the time you guys see this again. So, like I said, I'm just gonna put some grease in, close this up, reassemble the slipper clutch, and get the motor set up in it one time as well. So that way I can just fit it back in. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Alright guys, so got everything assembled here. <clears throat> got a 22 tooth uh, pinion on here. Matched pretty well. Not bad. You know, metal to plastic, it is what it is. Probably eventually I'll probably swap this out once it strips the only plastic thing that's in here but that's the one that they had so I just took it it's fine but it meshes it's meshed really well as you can see like no effort to turn it teeth mesh is good so it should last a while and it's a slipper clutch clutch so any resistance it should just slip we'll see but yep there we go uh, so what we're running is the horizon hobby onyx 3000 kb there you go, you guys can try to get out the glare. Down a bit. There we go. Onyx 3000 KV with the um, Horizon Hobby ESC, Onyx as well. Uh, this is 2S, 3S capable. So, yeah, should be pretty good. Um, it was running to 4000 KV before with a 2S, 3S capable ESC. That was just a lot. So, we're going to try it with a 3000 KV and that should be more than enough for this as a little basher so what we're gonna do now is just um get everything installed in here now 
put it back in. So basically this slides back up in here and snaps in like that. And then you just put in all the screws, this, that, whatever. Um, normally you gotta put this in first. So I gotta slide it back out and put those back in. But yeah, that's that. Put the wires in, boom, boom, boom. Put the um, receiver, which I am going to use this one here, uh, HSP, so I'm just gonna use it. No biggie. Everything looks good on it still, it should still work. We'll test it, of course. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna do now, get all the electronics wired up, everything bolted back up how it's supposed to be, and then you'll see the final finished product. We'll be back. All right, guys, so that's it. She is done, she's ready. I gotta do some cleanup for the wires, of course, but other than that, she works. I put the um, HSP <coughs> um, receiver transmitter combo in there. So I should get some decent range out of it. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, it's got the Horizon Hobby combo. Uh, 2S to 3S capable, 3000 kV motor with the heat sink on it. Um, got the full metal upgrade except for the spur gear it's still plastic which once that strips out we'll probably get the metal one um running 2s probably gonna be running 2s mostly on this might swap to 3s here and there but you know i don't want to create too much heat running a 22 tooth pinion stock spur and that's that so let's power it on so i can show you guys got that lovely metal to plastic wine. There we go. I'll lift it up so it's not. Yeah, she got some power. Look at that. These are belted tires, so it's even letting them balloon a little bit with the belt on it. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's it guys. So the basher is done. I'm gonna carry this out for a run tomorrow as well. See how it goes. <clears throat> See if we can do any backflips. <clears throat> I got the cover for it here somewhere. I'll show you guys that when I actually have it out. I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up all these wires and what's not. That's basically it. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of these crazy builds. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. More than likely, I'm going to have to eventually upgrade these. But we'll get there. Whatever breaks, we'll upgrade. That's basically what we do. So catch you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Peace.